this is lesson 161 and it's uh, it's a picture of a, a church in my local vicinity within about 10 miles it is a beautiful little church a Saxon church called uh, Wickmere uh, it's 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 a lovely study and the the, the angle I've taken it from I've painted it before with with a, with a, a, I was tutoring a group of one of my courses and I I I asked the farmer if I got permission to to go on his land to sit there because that was the best view and and he was okay about it he uh, he said fine and, and in fact he, he was the bird at the church so so. I was able to get the permission straight away. Right, the colours we've got today are the raw sienna, the ultramarine, ultramarine and burnt umber. No others and crimson on this one. Let's, let's uh, get them out of the way and then we can see where we're going. Right, start off by... It's, I'm, I'm sick of doing these miserable pictures I've been doing. The, the, with all the, the, I know it's winter and all that, and you do get pictures like that, but uh, I thought we'd have a nice, brighter picture today and uh, we'll have some sunshine, shall we? This is clean water, by the way, just randomly put on there to start the sky off for us. A little bit of sunshine, a bit of raw sienna in there. This is number 20 Russian Museum, by the way, folks. And that puts some uh, ultramarine blue. Mind the church. And we can take this colour down to the lovely point. Down the horizon. There. Same for this side. Mind the church. The light today is coming from the right. So now I'll put some a bit darker, darker sky in here. You can't have such a nice day as this. Cloud formation coming from the right, so we're going to get the shadowy areas on the on the bottom side of these. Darken the corners of it. Keep it nice and juicy. I don't bother too much around here because the, the, there's trees all around this church. So, so I've, got, I've got a good cover there. I'm more concentrated on what's upstairs. Leave that now, running down like I expected to do. Just clear the clear the well from the bottom. Uh, 
and uh, I think while I've got that, the intent front to the, there's in this picture, there's, there's going to be a, 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 co a field of corn, which is nice. So if I can introduce that at the same time, that'll be all right, won't it? This sort of thing. Well, we're rattling this one off. Nearly finished. A touch of burnt umber in that one as well. <clears throat> I just burnt umber this. While it's still wet, I've just introduced a, a touch of it to bring it forward a little bit. Perhaps a, even a touch of the the blue in there to get the effect. Oh, I think we can dry that now. Right, it's pretty dry now. That uh, I want to put some of these trees in the background. See where we're going. So, first of all, under the, the trees at the back are, are obviously going to be paler than the ones that come forward. So, I need to mix some something, something that's going to be pale. Like, uh, and use the, use the uh, raw sienna and the French ultramarine mixed together, you'll get a, 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 quite a, a weak, weak green on that. Let's put a touch of that on there. Tough. Not in your face, it's well, some of this side as well. Plenty of woodland around here, it's lovely. It's a lovely spot, this uh, where Whitmere is. <coughs> the church is in a lovely village, and it's uh, it, it's just it, it's. I, I feel privileged to live here. It's 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 so nice. Just jump in the car and just point it in any direction you like, and uh, and and, and it's, it's beautiful. And that's what we do at times, Carol and I. We just uh, say, right, up in the car. We don't think of it a journey, we just, if we see a road, we'll turn down it. And it, it works quite well. So that's your background green there now, that, that'll do for that. Well then we'll come a bit stronger in front, so I want to go on to the, say some cadmium yellow now. Bit of cadmium yellow into that. with the uh, ultramarine in there again. See what kind of green that gives us. Yeah, like a bit of a green around here, and this will take it a bit more Yes, that's, that's created a stronger mix than the, the previous one. I'm just randomly painting these trees. 
So these, these, are not, these are not the foreground trees yet, they're the sort of mid-range, if you like. Right, I'm going to dry them now. Right, it's nice and dry now. So I want to mix it in now, color this, using the same colours, but less water. So I'm going to get a, a sort of stronger tone. So try it on your test paper first, making sure you, you, it's, it's what you want before you before you commit yourself. Now I think this is all right for me. So I'm just going to put in some. bit darker this this it's the same colours but, but but introducing a darker value of it because it has water. Nothing complicated about it, it's just that's how it happens. And what I can do with that is uh, the light is from the right isn't it so the left hand side of this will be in, in, in the in shadow of course. But what else what else uh, totally some twiddly uh, branches through there as well, shall we? As it comes up through the tree. That's what I'll do for that. And let's get some some darks on that. That shadow side, that's so the light from the right, so there's going to be darker here, isn't it? On the underside of there, from the sun coming there. Wherever there's a, there's a overhang, it'll be darker. And the interesting thing about it is, is this is, is how you, you, you can just use two colours and get all these different shades. It's, it's, it's lovely. It is. Just, just, and it's only just. Try and try and uh, the combination, and then just see, see how you go. So that, that's that's a nice nice looking tree there. We'll perhaps put a, a little bit of a bit of a small bush just here. Here again, let's put some darks on the where the, the sun don't shine. So we've got another layer there. See, we started with that one, then we had that one, then we've got this one. This dark is going even further, so, so we, we, we're building up layers of, of, of colour here. Right, let's just do a bit, a bit of sort of detail on this side now. So a similar tree just here. Using the side of the brush, it's, this is number number eight. It is. It's a Cotman brush. No, right, fine. So it's a student brush, but they, they do the they do the job. So we'll put a bit of a, uh, you might see it just a touch of, uh, touch of trunk in there. Not too much. And some dark on the left hand side because the sun's on the right. Wherever it's underneath, it'll be darker. I 
she do on that one? We'll put a bit of a tree down here and, and balance it. This is a put a bit of cadmium, cadmium yellow into that same mix there. See what colour we get. See if it looks like that's all right here. And I'll, I'll just I'll carry some of this on down here. to this behind here. Like that. We'll have a bit of a, a dark now. Give it some shape. That's it. Right. Now there's a there's a nice tree just here, quite dark. There's there's, there's a couple of uh, uh, what do they call them? No, oh, not elms. Whew. I've forgotten anyway. Anyway, the the, the evening in, in 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 graveyards and that around the churches and that. Oh, but I remember the name before I finish. This is a trouble again, old folks. <laughs> Your brain goes. <laughs> not too worry. Uh, right, so I'll, I'll, I'll do the church first now, before I tattle those of the trees, and then we can see where we go. So I'll better dry that first before I go there. Right, that's dry now, so I want to tattle the church next, just to give it a bit of a change from the trees. Uh, it's a pantile, pantile roof on this church, so uh, we'll, we'll just slip that in first. This is burnt sienna, by the way, folks. And I'm using a number six brush. Which is a scepter gold, which is a sable and synthetic blend. Most of my brushes are that. They do a super job. There's a little bit of that roof there, the other part of that roof is just there. On the chimney, of course, that's this. It's like a chimney, I think. They don't know what it is, it's got a boiler or what there, but uh, it's certainly got a chimney, some description. Don't ask me why, I don't know. There's a couple of roofs here, but they're a different colour to the the roofs there. I'll just mark that. Get that go on to there. That's the tile. And we'll change our colour onto it. It's like a it's like a grey browny colour. Let's have a look see what we've got. I'll put a touch of ultramarine. And a touch of burnt down, let's try that. It's a small, it's a small, it's not a small church, it's, a, it's the distance I've painted it at. There's a roof here. It's tiny, this. Get me less checked. We'll see how it looks at the end anyway, so. That's that, that's that, that's that, that. That. And the, I'll, I'll dry those off of it. And see where we go from there. Right, the church itself is a lovely mellowy colour and I'm going to paint it raw sienna but a, a strongest mix, not uh, not too watery 
a strongest mix. Let's see what we finish up with. Give it an undercoat first. I'll flick a touch of uh, age into that. Here's a bit of this, this colour I've got here. And uh, it'll be darker in places. And this this is the shadow side, of course, so, so it will be, it'll be dark in any case. Just, and it's just shading it. It's while it's still wet. It's this this colour soaking in. It's, it's a, so if I use that up that roof, I just dip my brush in it and just give it a touch of a touch of colour into there. It's a very old church. I'm not sure what, what, what date it is, but uh, it's got to be it's got to be 14th century at least. Uh, might, might be a bit, bit, bit older than that. I know, I know I, I, the village of Filtho, where I used to live, uh, it was it was 11, 11th century, that church, and it, it was gorgeous. Just a lovely little old church. And I think somebody in Whitmore would probably th be thinking now, you don't know what he's talking about. We're, we're, we're 11th century as well. And if you think that, I apologise. I'm doing my best. from there so we're going to get put a bit of, bit of colour on the top of this, this roof, it's not new. Not by a long way, it's not new. You know, they, they, they come around over, there's so many beautiful churches that, 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 that's, that's so paintable. Uh, sometimes it's a Saxon tower like that, like that. This one is a Saxon church, and the Saxons around about 200 years before the Romans, uh, the Normans, sorry. And uh, the Normans had a square, a square tower, but uh, th they're all beautiful churches and, and lovely kept, really nice. Oh, I think that'll, that'll do for that. I'll, I'll, I'll do a bit of detail on the, uh, the window now, because the, we're going to put some windows in, other than we'll see what day it is, will they? So we'll have work out. I think 
I'm going to dry that a little bit. It's going to start running, I can see. Right, this is uh, the ultramarine and, and burnt umber. Just a touch of that. Bit of delicate dew. The window's gonna go now. Then, uh, so what else we got? There's some dogs just here. Remember the castle, oh, castellations. Yeah, stick you up this. The castellation is just there. A bit fiddly these little windows, they're a bit small. I have full confidence in you though, I know you can do it. You'll find this easy. Right, I think that'll uh, a little bit more dark on there. I'm starting to feel now. Stop it. A bit more dark on this side of the, the tower there. I do. Dry it up. Right, we'll go back to some trees again because I want some more trees behind this, behind that. Down that building, some darkish trees this time. Darkish, so it'll, it'll, it'll make it stand out. That should be good, that. So I want some really juicy dark greens now. Uh, in fact, a good colour for this is Windsor Blue Red Shade, uh, Green Shade, sorry. Windsor Blue Green Shade. I'll just put, put a bit out of the palette. And burnt umber. That will give you a real juicy, juicy dark green. Trust me. That is as, as dark as they come. That, and it'll be nice this because it 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 it, it goes like this. Like this. There's a nice one right behind the church there. It's in the churchyard. And I say, if, if I remember the name of it. I'll, I'll write it in, but I can't remember. <laughs> Doesn't know even this when I get the things wrong.
You see, and you could overlap this, the, these greens here now, with this, with this, this darker one. And of course, the uh, the darker one then takes its prominence in front, which is which, which is all about that. Just getting it right. They give so much variety with these. I, mean, see, I, do, I don't possess a green on my palette, so I've got to make some. But I can get a variety by doing this. There's no gap now, is there? All filled in. And it wants a bit of uh, greenery around the bottom of this here. I'll put this in later. Around the bottom of the church there. A bit of a head to this using cadmium yellow, a touch of winter blue red shade. That keeps the cows out. Well, that's dry now. I tell you, I want to strengthen this foreground a bit to make the corn look a bit fresher, a bit stronger. See, I've got a good corn colour. This is raw sienna, by the way, folks. That's better. Look at that. It makes the corn sing out. Brown, some brown on this now, some burn timber on it. It's foreground.
soften this brown in the foreground. Because it needs some uh, bit of dark around this bottom corner, is it? This middle brush, I'll put it down and get a decent sized brush. Number 10 would be better for doing this. Dry that now. Around this front, there's, there's, there's a bit of a hedge around the front of the church here, so we'll pop that in. This is a, quite a light coloured hedge, so it shouldn't show. light right this this, this chair has said the lights coming from the the right so we, we we ought to put some shadows on the on the opposite side didn't we so I'll just put a mix some uh, winter will red yet isn't um, French ultramarine and uh, burnt umber because they're transparent colours, and that should give me a nice, a nice colour uh, to make a shadow. So the shadow, this is in shade just here. And this panel here. And this panel here. This one here. Shadow of the eaves there. One of the eaves. One of that one. And one under that little one there. Now the, the church itself, I want to just uh, be gentle with that one, put some clean water on it just here. Not 
too much clean water, but that clean water. I'm going to put some shadow stuff on here. And that will seep around that tower there. There's a, a lot of cloud about in the sky, so I think we'll get some there's some probably shadow down here. And shadow down here. Shading. These shadows have been all, all helped to make you, your picture come to life. If you leave it just flat, it'll stay flat, and you don't want that, do you? You don't want your picture to sing out of you. And I think what we'll have is a nice. I think we'll have a lovely cloud shadow in the front here. That'll set that off just, just across here. That'll be nice. It's a cloud shadow. They don't have hard edges, but I've got one just there, so I'll stuff, soften it. Dry that a bit, see what we've got. Right, I'm just looking around to see what's what and what's left to do. I always like to put a spot of red in, it, in my painting to draw the eye to it, so I think I'll put just a spot of red just here, near the door. Don't know what it is, it could be anything, but it doesn't matter. It's in. Shall we have a bird? I think so. We'll have a bird. It's the hell of the expense, we'll, we'll go for it. Inland, so I think we'll have crows on this one. Look for some dodgy bits in the sky. That'll, that'll do it, but let's put a, I'll put a bit of a mount on it, close it down, see what to, so we've finished it with. And that, folks, is Wickmere Church. Uh, I've enjoyed doing that. I like the painting with me, I've painted it before. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed sharing it with me. It's uh, it's lesson 161. And uh, I'll give it a subscribe if, if you liked it, and uh, and, and a like, and, and um, I'll see you on the next one. So until then, folks, it's bye-bye from me. Goodbye, folks.